What is this? These are lockers. Oh, it's an odd shaped locker. You know what, I wonder if that's from a bowling alley. <laughs> you can fit some stuff in yeah. there. <laughs> oh, oh, you break your bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Socks, and this is my sister Jolie Socks, and we're the Junk Gypsies. We're going to show y'all some of our favorite tips and techniques to finding great junk and making it fit your style. On this episode, we're going to make a unique space-saving desk. So today we're looking for something to make a really cool desk out of. We're looking for some salvage items, maybe some cool architectural pieces that would add some interest and just make a really unique piece. You know, I look at this. This would actually make, I wonder if that would be a cute, that could be a cute desk top. Desktop. I'm not sure what. And these little spindles are awesome. These would be, make a great oh, desk. I love mm -hmm. them. They're like homemade uh, sawhorses. So, but for what we're looking for, I feel like we ought to get something that's a little bit more space saving for like a small yeah, space. You're and these, right, these, you'd have to get these so far apart, you'd have such a big stretch between them. They're a little low, too. But I love the idea. But of that. also, you're right, it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, so if you have the idea. space, this would be a cool desk. If you don't have much workspace, a low profile leg is essential. These are some nice corbels. Oh, this would be perfect. Wow. So something we really love are old corbels. We buy them anytime we see them anywhere. If there's a pair, it's really icing on the cake. So these are great for turning into a desk or a shelf or even a nightstand. And um, so we pretty much buy these anytime we can find them. This kind of thing would be great for the space saving desk that we're wanting to build because it won't take as much room in your house. Corbels aren't just decorative items, they're structural and make great cantilevers for a desk that won't cut into your leg room. This one would probably be perfect, This is actually, actually a perfect size. Mm -hmm. okay. I say we get them all. We know we'll use them all. That's true. All right, let's go. We love corbels. They're really great architectural details that would have been on the outside of a house, outside of an old building. And so we use them a lot and bring them into a space to kind of give you an architectural look about your home. And we're really wanting to make a space-saving desk. And we think these are gonna be the perfect item and also add a lot of interest to this room. This is a really easy project, so we're gonna show you how to make this happen. Instead of attaching these straight to the wall, we're actually gonna cheat that process a little bit by attaching a piece of wood to the back of these corbels, and then you're actually attaching the wood to the wall rather than the corbel directly to the wall. We've cut a piece of wood to the length of our desktop, and now we're gonna screw that to the top of the corbels. So I'm lining this piece of wood up on the top of the corbel and down the side, so we've got a straight corner there. This does require more hands than you have, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. So the next thing we're going to do are take these small pieces of wood and attach them to the bottom of the corbels. The purpose of this is so that the corbel is flush against the wood, otherwise there would be a gap in between your corbel and the wall, and we need this to sit flush because the corbel will serve as kind of like a cantilever for your desktop. All right, Captain. So now that we have the frame built for the corbels, we're almost ready to put this on the wall. The next step is just to measure where exactly we want to place it. So standard desks are about, you know, 29, 28 inches to about 30 inches high. We're going to put this one right at about 30. All right, let's get this up. Let's get it to me. Right here. Oh, so we're going right there. Okay. Super cute. All right, let's see how our top looks. All right. This is actually um, from cedar here on our property from a tree that died, and we milled it, and we're going to use it as a desk. It's perfect. Are we good? That is super cute. And then be sure you level it. So maybe what you should do is put one end to a stud, level it, and then get your other one placed. And we are level. So the last thing we're going to do is actually screw the top down to the corbels. Well, now that the desk is up, it's time to style it. We love the natural kind of farmhouse look of these white corbels, and then we added in the cedar top for the desk. But we wanted to add a little bit of a junk gypsy style, which means bringing in a little bohemian. So we brought in this cut velvet chair with the tassels, which is one of our most favorite things ever. <laughs> and then, of course, Wonderlust. For us, nothing's ever complete without just a little dose of Wonderlust. So we've got the compass in here, the cactus. 
What we like to do when it comes to design is we like to combine something really feminine like these corbels that are kind of Victorian and shabby chic with something super masculine like this big chunk of rustic cedar wood. And we just kind of mish and mash until it just feels right. So we took all of these flea market finds, we added a little bit of grit, and we turned this into a really glorious study nook for your home.